Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to replace your URLs in your website after you've maybe installed one of our child themes or migrated your site and you have links and things like that, images that are referencing another site. So those need to be replaced and it's gonna be pretty quick. We're gonna just walk through um, a couple of the steps and show you how to do this. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is one of those where there's not just one way to do it, but there are multiple ways. And I'm gonna show you one of the ways and give you some of the other options as well. So I have two sites that I'm going to be using as my examples. Um, the URLs of these sites are temporary domains that I have on my hosting account. So, so it's hard to see, but the URL of this site right here is nelsonm20.sg-host.com. And the other one that I want to migrate or copy my site to as an example of how you could do this is using 19 instead of 20. So I'm going back from 20 to 19. Um, I'm doing this real quick to show you that, you know, why you would even need to replace URLs. So right here in my 20 site, I just installed uh, one of the free demo layouts and I am going to go now and migrate this site over to this site using all-in-one migration. And it doesn't really matter. Don't follow along with this. I'm just showing you that this is what I'm doing as like the context to replacing the URLs. So basically we're creating a context for this tutorial. Now I want to actually talk about what we're doing here, replacing the URLs. And over here in the blog post, which of course is linked in the description if you're watching this on YouTube, I have four plugins here that I feel are worthy of mention. Basically, they are four that I've used, I've tested them. Um, there's going to be one that I'll actually just show you how to use, but let's go ahead and just review these really quick. These are, are the options. So this kind of funny name, but Velvet Blues Update URLs. And I'm just linking you here to the WordPress repository. So you can see um, they're saying in the little screenshot, old URL, new URL. And you know they're trying to make it really easy here you can see their other screenshot and of course their description. If you move your WordPress website to a new domain, you will find the internal links to pages and references to images are not updated. So basically then you use this plugin and that's the idea with all of these. Basically the links might still be using the old domain and that's not good. Let's take a look at the next one. This one's called go live update URLs. And again, their description starts out goes through entire site and replaces all instances of an old URL with a new one. So there you go, the main features, just replacing the URL when you're ready to take it live, when you're migrating a site, something like that, and then it gives you all the features. Next is search and replace. Now, search and replace is a little bit of a different concept, but yet it works for URLs, but it could also work for other things. And here down here under under special features, it says, first one is replace domain URL. This is useful for a quick and simple transfer or migration of a WordPress website. The second is full support for serialized data. Basically, um, if you wanna search, if you wanna change like anything in the database, you can search and replace. And then there's better search replace. So I don't know if they're saying it's better than that other plugin or it's just better than everything. But anyway, here it's saying, when moving your WordPress website to a new domain or server, you will likely run into a need to run a search replace on the database for everything to work correctly. Fortunately, there are several plugins available for this task. However, all have a different approach to a few key features. This plugin consolidates the best features from these plugins, incorporating the following features into one plugin. Support for all tables, ability to select specific tables, your ability to do a dry run where it doesn't actually do it. It's kind of like a test, you know, dry run. Um, and then, you know, it has multi-site support and all that. And this is actually the one I'm going to use just because it's the one I'm familiar with. Um, I have tested all the other ones in the list. So it's not like you have to really worry. Um, it's strangely enough, I did find that on multiple different sites that I tested, 
certain ones did not always work. It was almost like a random, like, well, this one didn't work, so I picked that one, and that one did work, or that one didn't, so I used this one, and this one didn't, so I tried another. And um, I have not determined any specific, you know, common denominator as to that, but hey, if, if you try one and it doesn't work, that's so quick. You just install it, go to tools, and then type in your URLs, the old and the new, and then you replace it in your database. So that's what we're going to do. I'll go over here to my site where we have imported the other one. So go here to plugins, add new. And I'm just going to type in here, better search replace. Okay, and go ahead and install that and activate it all right and now down under tools there is a menu item better search replace okay so here we come to the settings page where it says search for and replace with so think of the search for as the old or the bad and replace with as the new the good thing so in this example i i can't actually do it because i don't have any issues um I didn't actually set it up for this, but let's say in this site here, let's say I would have had this button have a link and I would have gone in there. So let's say this button here on, on the original website and the one with the 20, let's say I had a link in here and this link was just right here or, or button link, whatever. And let's say it was going to like, you know, a contact page, something like that. Okay. So that link right there has the URL of that site. Now, when I moved, when I migrated my site to this one where it's 19, um, that button link would be wrong and it would be in the module. You know, it would be here on my page on the one that's 19, the destination site here. And what would happen is I'd come down here, the user would come down here click this button and boom, it would go to the old site. And that would be really bad because let's say you move the old site or you don't own it anymore, or you know, you stop your hosting for that old site or the domain is not pointed and all that stuff. So there'd be all these things that you would be forgetting. You would forget to update, go through and update every link. Even images can have the wrong URL. So I've had this happen already where I migrate a site and I forget to do the search replace. And eventually, like, let's say I, I close out a hosting account for that old site and I'll come in here and my images aren't loading. Like what in the world? And here it's just a matter of, well, the image URL, like let's say when you open up, when you right click, open image in a new tab, like let's say this URL is, you know, just some random old domain and it was pulling from it for a while and maybe it looked good when you migrated your site but then you'll realize if something happens you know plus you don't want your images to be pulled from some crazy other source you want them to be in your website and so this would be an example another example of the links and the images of why you would need to be replacing the urls so Let's let's pretend that we had a link in here and we had our, our images are wrong and all that. All right, so here we are, and let's go ahead and do this. So when we search for, what do we want to search for? Well, we want to search for the domain name of the old site. So for me, I would go here and I'd copy that and come in here and paste it in here. And then I'd replace it with the domain of this site. And there's a couple ways I could do it. I could just come right up here and make sure that I'm only grabbing, you know, to the dot com slash copy paste. Now, in this case, um, you're only seeing a number change, but usually it's like a completely different domain. OK, so normally, you know, like old domain dot com, new domain dot com. You know what I mean? Basically, it's going to replace the 20 with the 19. And then it says select tables. So you can go ahead and select all of them. It just makes it easier. Hold down your shift key and select them all. They should all be blue. And then uncheck this. And then go ahead and run your search replace. Now I don't think I need to, but I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and do it. I don't think it's going to find anything. Okay. And it, it didn't. It says... You know, it searched the 12 tables. Basically, that's the, um, the 
the tables of your database of your website, but it you know found zero. It did zero changes basically. Um, it'll tell you the changes it makes there. If like let's say you had five button links. Um, that it changed, it would say, you know, five sales changed in five updates, something like that. All right, so that's how you do it. This is really quick and simple. Um, and again, there are those other tools. Basically, it's finding the one that works for you. And I have these written instructions here as well. It's exactly what I just showed you. It's really short and simple. Um, but this can be really handy and it can really help you. Like, I've had a client already call me up and be in like, you know, all my images on my site are not showing up and I'm like hmm and I check I'm like right click and check and I'll see that the domain in the image is pulling from the wrong domain I was like ah I know what happened there you know you need to you, you never you know replace the URLs and just like that boom and then it was done and I remember like within two minutes I did this and text the client back and I was like hey you know I fixed it for you and you know they were so happy because they didn't expect it to be so easy they thought it was a major problem anyway i say all this to just let you know there are some use cases for this if you're migrating a site um and like i said here you know you're using a staging site and you want to take it live you know don't forget to replace it then um the mixed content airs if you have you know the http and then you need it to be https and all that um, and then sometimes in child themes or even in your menu sometimes, like I said with links, sometimes you have menu items that are um, actually hard coded in. And so, yeah, it's just a couple of different use cases. So I hope this was helpful and informative. Okay, so that's how you use the Better Search Replace plugin and how you replace those URLs in your website. I hope this was useful. If you found it useful, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.